This is episode number 120 of the Homeowner Show. Whether you're DIY or looking to hire, we're here to help you find the best information and options for you and your home. My name is Kevin Hackett, and here with me is Craig Williams. Hello, 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 and welcome to Homeowner Show. We're glad that you could be with us for this exciting episode of the Homeowner Show. That's right. It's exciting. <laughs> It's new, it's different, yeah. it's exciting. You've not heard this one before because we've not done it we before. We hadn't done it before. That's right. Yeah, it's Christmas time. Man, I this is my favorite time of year. There's the bumpity bumps. <sighs> We're just going to, we got to ride it out. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <sighs> it's classic. I, I miss one every once in a while. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, people who know, know, right? They, they, they know. Like, so it's my favorite time of year. I'm not a meticulous man, Kevin. No, you're not. <laughs> no. There's a lot of things you are. That's not one of them. Uh, I do love Christmas. Yeah? For so many reasons. Have you gotten your lights up yet? Well, that depends on what you mean. Well, you've got the, the, the inflatable things out in the yard, right? Yes. But no lights. Well, we, we have some, like, no, the, the lights that are not the icicle lights that we talked about last episode, I did not put those up this year. Okay. Um... We've got some other, they're like ornaments. They're large ornaments that are lit. Okay. And they're kind of in our doorway. There's five of them. They're in our doorway. We've got the the Elsa blow up, the little puppy dog. Mm-hmm. So we're somewhat festive. And we've got our tree, which is huge. It's a 10-foot tree, and it's massive. Uh-huh. Um, like inside your house? It, uh, okay. Yeah. Is this a new tree? It's a, no, you had, we've like had it for like tree. Yeah, we've okay. had it for like three years. Someone gave it to us. Uh-huh. Um, it's one of those old ones that you have to put each branch on. You oh, know? yeah, it's old. Um, one of one of our mutual friends gave it to us, and okay. um, we were looking for one, but they're pretty. I mean, to get a ten foot artificial tree, they're they're expensive. Yeah, and this one's really nice, but it's not pre lit, uh-huh. and so you got to put the. I mean, it's it's a lot of work uh, to make it look good, but. Um, we got we got those big windows in the front of our house, and so we've got one one of the windows that we we open up so you can see the tree outside. Looks nice. Yeah. So we have some more things that we want to do that to do to the house. We just we're not quite there yet. I got to tell you, pre lit artificial tree mm-hmm. is I love that thing. Yeah. It, I mean, like, and it's um, so it has multiple settings on the lights. So you can sure. do colored, you can do white, you can... Yeah, so it's set, LED. Yeah, so you can yeah. cycle back and forth between colored and light and fade in and fade yeah. out and da-da-da. Best thing on the planet. Yeah, um, so so there's definitely pros and cons mm-hmm. to pre-lit. One of the cons, they're mostly pros, by the way. Uh, <laughs> one of the cons is you, unless you want to put more lights on it, you just kind of have the number of lights that it comes yeah, with. Yeah, you have that. that. Right. And if you want a brighter tree than that, you got to put more lights on it or just deal with the fact that you're not going to get a brighter tree. But, I mean, it's a lot of work putting on lights. Yeah. Stringing a, stringing a Christmas tree is it's the worst. It's it, it. I mean, so from start to finish, putting up that tree took me four hours. And it, and it probably should have taken me longer than that, but mm-hmm. I ran out of lights. Ah. I need, I need like, at the end of the season, I'm buying more lights. Okay. Um, because I don't want to buy a new tree. It's a whole lot cheaper to buy new lights than it is to yeah. buy a new tree. <laughs> well, and so. like if you like, and if you just go with like a real tree, yeah. I mean, then you get like all sappy and sticky and. Well, my my wife has real bad allergies, uh-huh. and we we thankfully cannot bring a real tree into our house. I, I love a real tree. I mean, yeah. like I really do. I mean, I think I. I'm pretty like for, when I was a kid. I mean, like mm-hmm. we almost always had a real tree. Okay, uh, I, we I, never did. I I like the smell of them. Yeah, you know, I I get that the pine needles drop and da, 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 all that kind of stuff. Uh, but it's just it's it's you know, if you can, it's fun. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't disagree. There's there's something there's something awesome about going mm-hmm. as a family, picking out the tree, you know, fitting it through the window. Yeah, <laughs> getting it home, whatever. I mean, it. it I I get it. Yeah, it, it. We've never done it. It's not a thing for me. I like the artificial tree just fine. Yeah. So, and I only have to buy it once. And and I'll just tell you, buying a Christmas tree every year, they're not cheap. No, 
I mean, they're, I mean, to get well, artificial ones, I mean, you're, you're no, north of $200 no, easy. Yeah. But that's like what? Three years of buying an art, a uh, real tree. Oh, I don't know what yeah, real I mean, trees like, go for I, these days. I was just at Walmart the other day and they're 80 bucks for a real tree, for a real tree. Wow. Now that's Walmart. I mean, you uh-huh. can probably get it somewhere else for less, but, um, although they are the shop for less place, uh, yeah. but I would say that like I mean, even if it's fifty bucks, that's four years, and you've paid for an artificial one. You keep an artificial one for a long time. Yes. So, hmm. I mean, I, I like our artificial tree. I mean, you know, I miss the smell. Maybe yeah. I'll just get one of those like uh, car fresheners. There you go. Yeah. It's problem solved. Or just a sprig, and I'll just just shove it in there. <laughs> <laughs> just enough. Just just that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we had a we had a funny incident happen at our house uh, yesterday, actually. Uh-huh. So I was coming home, and um, normally the yard guy. So there's a yard guy that does the 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 lawns on either side of our house and the one across the street. Uh-huh. He kind of does them all at the same time. Normally comes at the end of the week, but for whatever reason, um, he came on Sunday. Okay. And so he's he's just kind of wrapping things up and. I mean, it looks really good. I'm like, ah, oh, great. Now I'm going to have to go rake my leaves because theirs look so good. Um, and within the hour, he's still kind of cl- cleaning up. He's been doing all kinds of work over there. Within the hour, a windstorm comes. Mm-hmm. I mean, and it's been raining all day, too. I'm kind of like, why are you? I mean, he's been mowing through the rain. Oh, wow. I mean, in which... I I just don't do like if it's mm-hmm. wet outside my my mower is not commercial <laughs> those commercial <laughs> ones will do it but sure um, unless they get stuck but he, yeah and anyway that it, it can happen so oh, with this one storm come and it it was a I mean, you were you yeah. you live close yeah Th- this storm came with a vengeance yeah it was it was I mean I've got one of those I don't even know what they're called they're they're they almost look like the needles off of a pine tree but it's just straight up tree. Right, it's just real skinny. Real oh yeah, tall. I know what you're talking about. And I don't know what they're called either. I mean, this thing was like almost touching the ground on either just side, whipping of back and forth. Yeah, yeah, almost touching the ground. I'm like, that might not make it. <laughs> <laughs> it might completely uproot. Uh, and I've got so many leaves like in front of my door right now because it's just like a vacuum, right? Uh-huh. And like all the work that he did, there's <laughs> the. There's leaves all over those yards. <laughs> it's been spending hours, and I'm like, "That's got to be the worst." That's when you walk away. Saying, yeah, nah. I know. Yeah, because because you know, it's like one of those. Hey, I thought you were gonna come clean up my yard, and, and he doesn't speak good English, so I'm not gonna talk like he does. Sure. But he, he's like, "I did," <laughs> but you practiced, but, and you can. Yeah. No. <laughs> I had it prepared. Okay, but. We're not going to go there. We're not going to be offensive. I'll just say this: you're not going to be offensive. That, no, you leave but, that to me. <laughs> well, I, 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 I'll just put it this way: I use Google Translate with him all the time. <laughs> He's a great guy. I really like the dude, but I can't speak Spanish. Oh man! So, so I've I've been here for a couple bad windstorms. The worst one, uh, which I don't even know if we've ever talked about this on the show before, when I had the tree fall through my house. No. Um, which on this house? Okay. Yeah, that was fun. Mm. Um, because uh, well, on that one in particular, if you haven't listened to any stories about my house before, <laughs> my kitchen is on the second and a half floor. <laughs> <laughs> every time, every time you say it, it gets more funny <laughs> <laughs> because it's true. <laughs> it's just I, I'm like I'm like yeah, it's still it's it's second and a half floor. Wait, and, and let me let me ask you, Kevin, because like I, I I use that all the time to like tell people what my house is like. Yeah. Is there a better way? Nope. Because you, to describe my kitchen. Nope. nope. Okay. It it is one hundred percent the most accurate way you can describe your house. You have you have a first floor, mm-hmm. a second floor, very clear second floor. Yes. A second and a half floor, and a third floor. Okay. And and your third floor is might have possibly been meant to be an attic i don't know i don't probably not the way it's built yeah because there's stairs going up to it but yeah you clearly have three floors and then there's a second and a half floor yeah i didn't know if like the second and a half should be a third floor and the other one should be a fourth no 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 no, because there's i know it's in between the two but like normally that would be the third and the fourth floor yeah but there's like what six steps that go up to it yeah you cannot call a whole nother floor six steps so maybe so maybe maybe you could make the argument that it's a multi-leveled second floor <laughs> no 
<laughs> second and a half. Not to mention the fact it's not the entire it's not the entire floor. It's just I mean, because then you couldn't walk underneath it. <laughs> I mean, well, I could, but most people <laughs> couldn't. And and so it's only kind of on half. So that's the other reason it's a half. It's on the half. Of the yeah. So it's it's a second and a half. That's second the only floor. way you okay. can describe it. All what that these, to all yeah. that to say. I'm standing in the kitchen looking yeah. out through the window, which is the prettiest window in the house, by Beautiful. the way. Beautiful. Um, I watch the tree go through the house from there. Oh, like it comes right no. at me and it goes through the porch. Yeah. Oh, man. So, yeah, it was scary. Um, but anyway, this, <laughs> this windstorm, uh, yesterday I saw something I've never seen before. Okay. It blew off a traffic light. Really? Yeah. I was I was going I want to say it was on uh 1488. Mm-hmm. For those of you that live around here, I was driving down 1488 and there was like just traffic and just like random traffic on a Sunday afternoon. That's odd. And I was like, this is weird. Mm-hmm. And I finally get up to it and there was three traffic lights and the one on the far right hand side had been blown off the line and just splattered into the middle and third lane weird yeah and so there were uh, like when you drove up on it you were like what's all this stuff in the road yeah and then you look up and you're like oh like that that fell down from there yeah and and it's like seeing a sign right up in person Mm -hmm. you have no clue how big those things are until they're on the ground next to you i'd like i'm they're huge we're really lucky like it didn't fall on somebody yeah yeah because you would you would literally you would be in bad 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 shape if that landed on your car oh yeah i mean mean, it might go through the cab absolutely yeah it's crazy how big they are like i I was actually up next to one of those um i was was going crossing a street at one point not too long ago and i was doing you saw the little walk sign you walk yeah yeah, yeah. the walk. those things are huge i mean Mm -hmm. which you think about it okay they kind of have to be but they're huge. Well, and they need to be dense in order to like withstand weather, <laughs> which obviously that one did not. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, man, we I don't I don't know. I mean, those were 50, 60 mile an hour winds that were coming through here. Yeah, it was pretty it nasty. Was, it was it was crazy. Like it was it was one of those that like it, it felt kind of like a windstorm in Dallas almost. You know, the ones that kinda like when you're going on the highway can kind of like shift you oh, on the road. Dude, I grew up in West Texas. Out. Like I I West Texas has I'm sure people Different in like amount of Kansas wind. and Nebraska no, no, are just no, no, like no. laughing at us. No, 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 no. There, I promise you, growing up where I grew up, there's nothing to stop the wind, and it just blows for days. That's why there, like, there's wind wind uh, mill farms mm-hmm. for days mm-hmm. out there right now because there's an endless supply of wind. It just, it's always windy. Like, I remember going to Chicago and going. I was, I was fixed to ask who that. Named, I was, who named this place the Windy City? Because yeah. they've never been to West Texas. <laughs> Ever. Ever. Yeah. I mean, what? It's crazy. I mean, because I think everybody knows Chicago as the Windy City. Yep. Or like most most people probably yep. do. But Actually, here, here's a really, really crazy um, thing, a uh, bit of history. So the town I grew up in, it's called La Mesa. Mm-hmm. And um, its original name... Before it was La Mesa, was Chicago, <laughs> <laughs> Chicago, Texas. A long, 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 long time ago. Texas has a so, long history of, uh, you know, trying to abdicate the names of other famous cities. Uh, yes. So <laughs> they've done a pretty good job. Yeah. There's a bunch. Yeah. So anyway, today uh, we're actually doing a pretty cool deal, uh, and we we may do this with some other brands, but just was it last week? Uh, yeah, like so, like very, very recently. Yeah, Ryobi did a major news drop announcement of all these new tools that they're they're hitting the shelves in twenty one, and I, some of them have specific release dates, some of them don't have specific release dates yet. Um, all twenty twenty one though. All twenty twenty one. And I will say before we get any further in this, so did you watch? Did you watch the uh, the whole like news thing that they came out? It was like fifty two minutes. Did you watch the whole thing? I didn't watch the whole thing. Okay. I watched most of it. Though. Okay, I didn't watch the whole thing either. I just I ran out of time, but I started at the beginning. Did you start at the beginning? Yeah. Okay, so at the beginning they have like like the big wigs in in the yes. company come uh-huh. out. Um, just so you know, people out there in the stratosphere that are listening right now, they called it Ryobi. 
Ryobi. That's right. Yeah. Every single every, time. And like they every did single time. I noticed They called that. it Ryobi. I don't, I, I don't know. I've never met anyone that nope. pronounces it that way. Nope. And, 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 they're, and they touted multiple times that they're, you know, in Home Depot exclusively, right? Yep. And I've never heard a Home Depot employee say, well, the Ryobi stuff, I mean, the Ryobi stuff is over there. They always say Ryobi. Ryobi. I've always called it Ry- Ryobi. Yeah. But the people who are advertising the new products that are big wigs in the company are made it a point to say Ryobi, Ryobi numerous times. Numerous I noticed times. that too. Yeah. So I don't, I'm probably going to continue to fail <laughs> in saying it correctly, but I think I'm going to think every time I do, like, I think I should have said Ryobi just now. Yeah. I think I, I want to hear from folks on this one because like, I, I think we're probably in the majority here. And I, I think, I think the people over there at that company, and I'm not going to say their name because I don't want to like trigger them. Um, but <laughs> I, I think they might need to consider coming, coming on over side. to the good side. Yeah, because I mean, it's it's like La Mesa. Uh huh. A lot Spelled of people LA. say La Mesa. Oh, all the time. Yeah. And and I'm like, look, I grew up there. Uh huh. I lived there for 18 years almost. Well, so but you're and you're arguing for them now, because I'm like, they work there. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, but but the point is. There is a common there is a common way to say something, uh-huh. and then there is the right way to say something. Yeah. So, um, that that's kind of my point though is like whether it's common or right, which one do you go with? Yeah. You know, but in this case, I think Ryobi is. It's what people say. Yeah. <laughs> so well, it, like, in, in talking about like city names, like I, I have a, a good friend who grew up in Elder. El Dorado. Mm-hmm. But there's also El Dorado. Yep. And they're spelled the same. Yep. There's two totally different cities. Yep. Mm-hmm. What the heck, Texas? I don't know. I, I lived in McKinney for three years. Uh-huh. McKinney, Texas is North Dallas. And um, there's an El, El Dorado street. Mm-hmm. That's what I grew up hearing it be called. But it's El Dorado. Everybody there calls it El Dorado. Right. And so I started calling it El Dorado because that's what it is. Well, because it's a but, good John Wayne movie. Yeah. You should pronounce it that exactly. way. Exactly. I'm just saying. But um, I grew up thinking El Dorado, and that's the way it is. It's like Kirkendall. Yeah. I feel like if I didn't <laughs> say it that way, I would get punched by the Duke. It, yeah, and nobody wants to get punched by the Duke. <laughs> Mispronounce my movie? No. So. Yeah. Anyway. So we're, we're, we are going to talk about Ryobi, Ryobi, call it what you will. Um, Ryobi. But they <laughs> exactly. Uh, they introduced a lot of stuff. So well, and, uh, I, I will. I will say this. So like because I did watch their video. Yeah, I feel like they need our help. Okay, I, I found their video lacking. Okay, well, on what level? Because I did too. I'll, I'll tell you this. Multiple I, levels. Part part of it, I guarantee that I am so completely jaded by Apple. <laughs> I am so completely jaded yeah. by their presentation. Of products, yeah. That this felt like someone out of their garage. It did. I mean, and, and, I mean it's it tools felt in the like garage, so, it, but well, it, fair enough. <laughs> it, it felt like someone in their garage trying to copy Apple. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Because how often was like, and now we're gonna pass it off to so and so to yeah. give you more information. It's exactly what Apple does, only they do it seamlessly and yeah. really, really well. Yeah. So and, I don't know. So, I'm I mean, jaded. It, it, well, it, cha- you know, props to Ryobi Ryobi. That's gonna, <laughs> gonna bug. That's gonna, gonna bug gonna me all the night. En- the entire episode's gonna be like that. I hate y'all. you guys. Get used to it. I hate you. <laughs> That's right. Um, Pick a lane. Yeah, <laughs> I think they did. <laughs> I think it, I think it's us that's definitely trying pick to pick a lane I but, like. Yeah. <laughs> pick the right lane. <laughs> Any, anyway, uh, what was I saying? Chalk it up to something. I don't know. Oh, I was I was like I was giving them props because like they obviously used real employees. Yes, who have never been on video in their right. life. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and like really are fascinated by teleprompters. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I thought that a hundred percent. So anyway, they did. It, like. So I was excited to watch the stuff because I knew they were going to be coming out with with some neat things that yeah. I was going to be interested in. But I was yeah. like, "Oh, this video is bad. Mm-hmm. It's really bad." Yeah. So I thought the same thing. Yeah. 
Now, some of their, uh, the, the, oddly enough, the guy that I felt like performed the best was like the rep from Home Depot. Yeah, okay. That is exactly what I was about to say. That guy was like, he was full of energy. And yeah, was like, he, was he was like, he was excited to have his job. Yeah, he had and it was done his homework. He yes, was ready to done, be there. Yes, he was. So. I, that's exactly. So funny you said that. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. So anyway, here, what I thought, and you can you know interject here, Kevin. I thought we would run through the list of tools, okay, and then you and I were going to zero in on a few, yeah, that we were excited mm-hmm. about. And you're, I'm going to handle the 18 volt. And okay. You're going to handle the 40 volt. I got the easier job. Yeah, your list, your list is shorter, right? Yeah. So um, there's a total of 26 products, and only seven, I think only seven of them were. Uh, were 40 volt. I okay. Think the rest of them were all 18, 18 volt. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think that's right. So, and and one, before I go through the list, one of the things that I know you really wanted to, we've talked about this before, but you wanted to zero in on the fact that like this is all brushless. Yeah. So uh, I think that that's something we we've mentioned this on an episode before uh-huh. where we were talking about some of the new Ryobi stuff, and I said that on purpose. Um, <laughs> is that there, there's this new technology called brushless uh-huh. and that is a weird term mm-hmm. because it's very technical. Yes. And when you think of it, you think, oh, there's an actual brush. This is something like this is, what is this about? It It is very simple in what it actually means. Mm-hmm. It basically means that uh, the tool has a motor that adjusts its speed and its torque and the, the amount of power that it supplies uh, whenever you pull the trigger, mm-hmm. um, based on whatever task it's doing, so it's very smart. So if you're driving a, a screw with mm-hmm. the, with a drill that's brushless into pine two by four, mm-hmm. it doesn't have to work all that hard because pine's a pretty soft wood. If you're drilling it into walnut, it's going to have to work harder. Or if you're trying to drill into a piece of concrete, um, it's going to have to work harder. So the amount of power and torque that it supplies whenever you pull that trigger is directly congruent with the pro- the project that you're working on. Right. So it's intelligent. You don't have to do anything with it. It just kind of knows. And so this brushless technology, what you wind up getting with it is you get a, uh, a more efficient battery use because it doesn't have to work as hard if it's not – needing as much power right and so it will conserve battery for that uh it will also give you more power when you need it so it's not just a one uh, whatever amount of power the the drill will do is what the battery will supply right um it's just very intelligent and it's intuitive so um you're getting a more versatile more powerful a longer lasting tool the tool itself is just built better, mm-hmm. and so it's going to last longer, um, not just battery-wise. I mean, the amount of time you can own it will be longer. So yeah. it's a little bit more expensive than the other stuff. Part of it's because it's a new technology, but on top of that, you, you're getting a superior product in many, many ways. So all of the tools, you you will not see another manufacturer right now build a brushless tool. Not with a battery. You I don't mean you won't I don't, see with them. I don't think you'll see another another company, whether it's Ryobi, Milwaukee, Dewalt, uh, you know, Skill, whoever yeah. it is. I don't think you're going to see them not do brushless not do brushless from, from yeah. now on. Okay, it's it's the way of the future, and the the technology is new. The prices are a little bit more expensive. What you're getting out of the tool is way better. Surely we'll still see that normal kind of stuff at like Harbor Freight and. Yeah, I mean, I think so, but I was at Harbor Freight just the other day, and they had brushless tools. Well, I, I would assume they have brushless so, tools, but so I, I just think that the way of the future for now is going to be this brushless technology. Yeah. So, um, all so that that being said, all of the tools that we're going to talk about today are brushless. Okay. Well, and and one of the things that you mentioned that I, I think is is worth bringing up that they talked about is they the way that they've 
improved their batteries. Mm -hmm. That was a big deal that yeah. in, in that video. And I don't, they didn't spend a whole lot of time nope. on it, but I think it's something worth mentioning uh, because the batteries are now, they're smarter batteries yep. in, in the sense of what you're talking about with like the brushless motors, the, mm -hmm. the batteries are distributing power in a different way now. It's actually a different type of lithium battery. Yes. So uh, it, it's still lithium battery, but it's got different technology in the battery. Mm -hmm. And um, if you if you ever want to see what that looks like, like go Google the Ego battery mm -hmm. and, and let I mean the Ego has got some incredible technology inside their batteries, and other people are, have caught up with that. Yeah, Tesla's got incredible battery technology. So yeah, and I've it, already got some of these new uh, Ryobi batteries. Okay, cool. Yeah, and they're they're fantastic. Yeah, and they've got an LED readout for uh, how much power consumption they're using yep. or how much they've got left. Yeah. So with a little indicator. Yeah. Yep. Um, which if you're familiar with like uh, DJI products, mm -hmm. I would, they're very similar. They're smart battery, like a yep. DJI battery, which those are crazy expensive by the yeah. way. Um, but anyway, um, so new batteries, more power, mm -hmm. longer lasting, all that kind of good stuff. Yep. So anyway, let's get into the tools. Let me, let me run through these for you real quick. So first off, right off the bat, we've got a four mode half inch impact wrench. Yeah, so that's that that is like a what you would consider an air gun for like a like a, a torque gun that you would take off lug nuts with. Right, that's what that's for. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you have a one inch SDS plus rotary hammer. Um, this is a, a tool you use to drill through concrete yeah. to get up tile. You can use it as a chisel, as a hammer. Um, very very powerful. Uh, rotary hammer uh next up is a 18 volt push mower yeah so this is this is this is kind of cool just because it's 18 volt all yeah. the other ones have been 40 volt up until right. this point mm -hmm. um and so this is uh, i'm not going to get in this is not one of the ones i'm i'm more excited about this may be one for kevin um i don't i don't know which ones you're excited about this yeah. one's interesting but it was it didn't make my list but well, it's, it's me, interesting nonetheless it's not to me either but let me just say something about it right now what it means is you don't have to buy a different battery to have this mower. Right. That's huge. That is huge. So, you know, what, one of the things that Milwaukee has had going for it for so long is that all of their products, both indoor and outdoor um, products, ha power tools and outdoor products, I should say it that way, um, are all built on their 18-volt battery. And so this is a step that I think Ryobi is making to say, mm -hmm. look, we've got a mower right. that can work on 18 volts. Which, correct me if I'm wrong, I, uh, and, I and I could be wrong, and I, I'm fairly certain Milwaukee does not have a mower that operates on their 18 volt. I haven't seen it. Uh, that I, maybe they may have it net today. Yeah, and th we're gonna. But I don't remember seeing. And, it. and we're probably gonna do the 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 new tools for 21 with Milwaukee too because they right. have some really interesting ones as yeah. well. I did not see a mower in there. I didn't either. Um, and I haven't seen one from anybody else. That's, um, that's 18 volt. No, I haven't either. Um, so they may be the first. Mm -hmm. Um, which could be good, could be bad. I don't yep. know. Yep. So anyway, next is the new circular saw. Mm -hmm. Um, the uh, next up is the hammer drill. Uh, following that up is the new string trimmer, uh, which again, significant about that is 18 volt. Yep. And it, a weed eater. Yeah. If you're wanting to know what a string trimmer is, it's a weed eater. Yeah. Uh, four mode impact driver. Um, so, and, and uh, that's not going to be on my list either. I don't know about your list. Is that on your list? Nope. So uh, one of the interesting things about that one is one of those modes is a stabilization mode. Yeah. Uh, very, very cool. Mm -hmm. um, which if you ever used a uh, impact driver that got hung up, mm -hmm. it like it won't get hung up like that and like twist you around. Right. Um, so very, very cool. Um, after that, the angle grinder slash cutoff tool. Very cool. They've never mm -hmm. had one of those before. Right. Um, a blower, like a leaf blower. Mm -hmm. uh, and then a standard impact driver. Mm -hmm. A jigsaw. Uh, a chainsaw. Uh, a just standard drill driver. Um and a hedge trimmer hmm. and a multi-tool right and i think that's it one more oh the auger no actually there's two more yeah there's an auger and then there's also the reciprocating saw 
reciprocating saw. Yep, and that's it. Yep. So that's it. There you go. There, there's the list for you. Uh, you can actually go to uh, ryobitools.com and and find out lots and lots of cool information about each one of those. Uh, Kev, what do we have in the 40 volt line? Okay, so moving over to the 40 volt line, um, there there's there's fewer tools, but you're using a battery that's m that's got more than twice the voltage. Right, right. And this is a newer line for Ryobi too. I mean, like it, they. I, how long have they been doing the outdoor tools? It's been a couple of years. Couple, yeah, it's not. It hasn't been that long. No, um, and and they've. I think they've still got the most number of tools in the forty volt line of the outdoor equipment. I think mm. I could be wrong about that, um, but uh, so the new stuff. So they've got two mowers. Uh, one of them is uh, a cross-cut self-propelled self mower. Mm -hmm. The other one is just a self-propelled mower. Okay. Um, and so, you know, basically uh, the the difference is the cross-cut has two blades on it, okay. whereas the regular self-propelled just has one blade like a traditional mower. So it, it just does more work with the cross-cut. Okay. Then they've got a string trimmer. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've got a hedge trimmer, okay. an auger, and a chainsaw. Now, here's what's interesting about that. Every single one of those products is available as an 18-volt mm -hmm. and a 40-volt. Right. So I, I think the thing you have there, – there's two things you have to kind of think about in your mind. What kind of work am I doing? Mm -hmm. How often am I doing it? And – uh how much do I want to buy a whole nother set of products? Yeah. Because this is a different line. You and can't, I imagine you can't these are more expensive. Them. They like, are. They have a little bit more power. That's right. Okay. They're, and they're going to be heavier. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're going to be uh, just bigger in general. And you've got a whole nother set of batteries at this point. Yeah. Your 18 volt batteries do not fit on these, you know, nor do they work on these. So it, it's a whole nother, it's a whole nother ecosystem in some ways, even though it's, you know, same products as far as the brand goes. It's kind of a different ecosystem, though. Mm. So let's let's um well, let's start here. Let, let's um, get into uh, the juicy stuff. Yeah. So you know, I've already kind of mentioned something about the self-propelled mower. I'll, I'll tell you right now, um, I will not ever buy another gas-powered mower. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't have said that two years ago. Yeah. Because I didn't understand. But any battery power or electric powered uh, mower that I've ever seen has been completely underpowered. Mm -hmm. It couldn't do the job, and it ran out of battery too fast. Or you know, you had to drag a. Who would, I mean, seriously, of all the things you want to do, you want to drag a cord around yeah. while mowing the grass. Well, how many of those things got that spinning? Exactly. <laughs> Come on now. Um, so I, I'll tell you right now, I will never, ever, ever buy another gas powered mower. I, I don't think it's responsible mm -hmm. to do so. I don't think the emissions you're putting out is good. The sound output is not great. Um, and it just doesn't make sense. I mean, the, the gas, the battery powered mower, this is crazy. I'm going to say it anyway, because it's true, are more powerful than the gas powered mowers. Mm -hmm. And so, especially whenever you consider one that's got a cross cut blade on it. That's incredible. Um, so uh, I have a uh, the Ego trimmer. Right. We've talked about that. There's a whole episode that we've done on that. And so um, I will tell you that once you get up into the, the 40 volt, um, the, the Ego stuff is a 56 volt. Mm -hmm. uh, once you get up into that higher voltage, it's got a lot of power. Mm -hmm. So I I would I would go into the store if you're interested in trimmer, and and check that thing out. Yeah, you know. Um, but I think the thing, um, and they've got a chainsaw. Lots of places have chainsaws. Um, as far as lots of different brands go, um, this is an 18 inch chainsaw, so it's a it's a big dude. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's gonna be a whole lot lighter for you to carry around, especially if you're climbing a tree or something, trying to get something down. It's gonna be a whole lot lighter than carrying around sure. something that's gas powered. Um, but I think one of the things that's really interesting to me is this auger. Mm -hmm. It's an eight-inch auger. Right. I mean, that's not a small. No, that's not little post hole that you're trying to dig, you know, with this. Um, but it's got some. It's got three different speeds on it. Um, 
it's got what what they call anti kickback technology. So you know, again, kind of what you were talking about with that impact. If like if if it starts to torque on you, it's going to kind of stop itself, mm-hmm. which is huge because um, you've used an auger before, I assume. Oh yeah, we we have a big one. Okay, you got to be careful. Yeah. I mean, you you can you can kill yourself using one of those things. I mean, even like on like a normal one, if it's like if it's a single person auger, yeah, man, you can really easily like break a rib. Yep, break your arm. Yep, I mean like they're they're very very powerful. Yes. Um. It, yep. And you know they're designed to spin. That's right. Powerfully. Yes. And they don't care which end. Nope. <laughs> and they got a lot. They got a ton of blades on them. Yeah. You know, like this one continuous large blade, right? Mm-hmm. So. They can be they can be very dangerous. So, this anti kickback technology is a smart way to go, and um, they're they're saying that it's a really good fit if you're trying to do um, like digging for fence holes, you mm-hmm. know, fence post, yeah. those types of things. It's gonna be perfect for landscaping, um, you know, any light cultivating or preps prepping of soil for. You know, if you're trying to, in, you know, put in a plant or something like that. Yeah. So this this one this was one, on your list. This one was on my list. Is it the 40 but volt this or is the, the 18 40 volt? volt? Yeah. So I think it, it, it may be on your list too for the 18 volt, but this 40 volt, it's going to do a lot of work. Yeah. It's no, going to be a workhorse. The, the 18 volt is definitely on my list. And, and in my business, we have an application for it that would actually be like really, really helpful if it works. Yeah. I'm, I'm very suspicious of the amount of power that thing can actually generate uh because at at least around here i mean i don't don't know about other parts of the country um but we have a lot of clay yeah and clay is difficult if it's dry Mm -hmm. and it's difficult if it's wet yep um and, and like augers have a hard time with it yeah they do um and and we even have like power auger on the back of like a tractor Mm -hmm. it's like an immersion uh, auger yeah um you know that's hydraulically controlled right that thing struggles yeah you know and so like i'm i would just be i'm I'm very curious as to how well the 18 volt one would perform yeah um if it does i'm i'm excited yeah um and and part part of the reason is because i mean like we we just got done outfitting all of our company vehicles with ryobi tools okay um, like we, we set up all of our guys with nice. like a full set of all this, the, the catalyst for that was the, the backpack sprayer. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Um, and once we had that, it was like, well, this is a no brainer going right. forward. I mean, like we have all these other tools that these guys can use now because they've already got the battery. They've already got the backpack. Like, well, we, let's just go ahead and set them up. Yeah. And the tools are pretty inexpensive really. The, yeah. When, when the batteries are the most expensive part of this system, mm-hmm. you know, now, uh, one thing I do want to mention um, is that the 18 volt is a lot lighter mm-hmm. that that auger. It's also a six inch auger instead of an eight inch auger. Right. So, but I mean, well, and still, th- that's the other thing I'm curious about is a lot of times with augers, and I don't I don't know about this one that because they didn't mention it, um, you can change the blades out. You don't have to use a six inch. You could use a four inch. You could use, you know. Um, there's there's typically options. Yeah. So uh, one of the things that it says here is that it's got a quick connect six inch auger, mm-hmm. and I would assume um, that the other one is a quick connect eight inch. Mm-hmm. It's very possible that they're interchangeable. Well, I don't know. They're though. either interchangeable or you replaceable. Sure. Because you do have to take them off to sharpen them from time sure. to time. Sure. So. I would I would assume that you can. You can buy an extra blade for it somewhere. Yeah. Um, and, and most likely, any six-inch auger blade, mm-hmm. I mean, as long as it can attach, it will, will work. But, um, again, it, I mean, it says kind of the same thing. It's great for digging yeah. fence posts and, well, and, landsca- and landscaping and, work. And, you let, know? let me give everybody a tip real quick on this kind of stuff. Um, because, I mean, like, 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 like you mentioned, we have one. Mm-hmm. You know, but a lot of times, depending on the soil I'm in, mm-hmm. my drill actually works better. That's true. Uh, so I we have auger attachments for our hand drills. Mm-hmm. They're just much smaller bits. Sure. Um, and it, what, it, can you do you have like a four inch auger or is it more like a two inch auger? I, I have multiple sizes. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, and my my cordless drills, 
tears it up. Yep. Because I can take smaller chunks. Yeah, and you can also, if you got a hammer drill, you can, you can hammer through some of that stuff. Um, they don't. <clears throat> they don't work with hammer drills. Oh, they don't. No. Um, What's the difference if it well, puts I'm, on a sorry? Because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking impact. Yeah, no, no, it's not an impact. They don't so work. Gonna, they don't I'm, work with impact. So I've got a hammer drill. A hammer drill it works fine. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Wrong term for yeah. me. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's all good. Yeah. So the only other one that I want to mention is I'm I'm really interested to uh, to try out the hedge trimmer mm-hmm. because which one the the forty volt okay because I've got um I've I've got a Ryobi one hedge trimmer okay it's an old blue one okay, okay. so I got a lot of the older older blue. Um, battery powered? Yeah, it's battery powered. Okay. Um, Which is and, something, I, I that was one of the things I meant to mention earlier when I was talking about the batteries, is they made a big deal about their newer batteries working perfectly with the old blue tools. Yes, yes, so. and they do. I mean, I I, I don't even have any of the nickel uh, batteries anymore. I've only got the lithium batteries, and I've got a bunch of the older tools, and they still work. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, So I've got a hedge trimmer. The problem with it is it's slow. Mm. and it it it'll do the it'll do a pretty good job i mean i've cut some some pretty good sized bushes with it mm-hmm. um but it's just it's just kind of slow right. and it's just i mean i would imagine that this 40 volt has a lot more power behind it and its ability to cut is going to be a lot stronger so mm. um i I'd, i'm interested to try something like that um I'd also like to see how it fares against. I mean, we're talking once you get into the forty volt line, we're talking outdoor tools. Yeah, we're not talking handheld power tools. We're talking outdoor tools. The Ego is a is a system that I'm really interested in, mm-hmm. and I've got a battery for for that already. I'd, I'd like to see those head to head. Do they how, have a hedge how, trimmer? Yes, they do. Okay. Yep, they got a couple of them. They got oh, two okay. different ones. Um, so. You should send one over. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to love to check it out. So, talk to me about your picks on the eighteen volt besides the auger. Yeah. So obviously the auger we already hit. The next one would be the multi tool. Mm. Um. Yeah. And part part of that is because I don't think Ryobi's had a multi tool in their lineup before. I don't remember seeing one. Um. And I I had one. I had a Porter Cable one mm. before this, and I I really loved that tool. Um, but I just decided to get away from that line because yeah. they weren't innovating right. worth doodah. <laughs> um, and I was just, I was getting kind of bummed out owning them, honestly. Yeah. I mean, they're good tools. Yeah. But like, I mean, like, give me something. Yeah. And, and a lot of them are even, uh, they're corded. And, and, you know, sometimes it's like, I need to be somewhere where, yeah. and, and honestly, a lot of times, even with the multi tools, like, I'm, I'm drilling somewhere where, I mean, I'm trying to cut into a place here. I, I don't have a good power source. Yeah, you know. So, so well, my, mine were all cordless. Okay, twenty volt. Yeah. So I mean, like they, again, they were good tools. Sure. Um, there's just you know not a lot of selection. Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, one of the tools I missed having from them was my multi tool. Yeah. Um, which if you've never owned one and you're interested in doing like any sort of trim work or cutting holes in sheetrock, I mean, like when they say multi-tool, they mean multi-tool. I mean, like yeah. you can do lots of different, they can even do sanding. Yeah. Um, if, if you really, really want to, it, they, you can get the, and I'm pretty sure everybody across the board uses the same head attachment. Mm-hmm. I think so too. On, on those. Um, so, and again, this is the new brushless. Mm-hmm. So it has a variable speed trigger. Yep. Um, and it also has a different kind. Um, my multi-tool was just on and off, and then you had a variable speed that you could adjust. Okay. This one, it looks like it has... I'm going to pull this up here real quick. Um, make sure I'm getting this right. And... Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, very... Okay, so there's a variable speed dial, but it's also trigger sensitive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, which is very, very cool. Yeah. Um, and then it also has, um, one of the things we were pointing out on my new set from Ryobi was how well the lighting was done Yeah. on, on these new tools. And yep. they, they've adjusted the lighting on this one as well. And it looks like it would be a lot more helpful right. than any previous version. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited because they've not had one. And I think I even mentioned this before, like it looked like they were kind of going this route with the new HP compact. Mm-hmm. 
like they were going to be bringing out some new tools. So I was right. really happy with this with this new you know batch of tools that they came out with uh, that that this one was included. Yeah. Um, so anyway, really excited about that one. We'll probably go pick it up. I, you know, it, I'll probably be able to pick it up for around a hundred bucks. It seems yeah. like that's what they're dropping all these new tools around. Um, the next one for me is is going to be that. Uh, I mean, yeah, there it is. The SDS Plus Rotary Hammer. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. if they're able to actually deliver this in an 18-volt package, mm-hmm. I'm going to be blown away. Yeah. This is something that I actually use pretty regular okay. in, in my work. Um, we use it to drill holes through concrete. Really? Um, yeah. And like little like half-inch holes mm-hmm. through concrete. Um and but like again, it can be used for lots of different things, you know, like the chisel and the uh-huh. hammer and you know all, all those different things. If it actually performs, it's going to be incredible for yeah. us um, because you know we we have some big industrial ones that we use on a regular basis, but they're corded, right? And so a lot of times we're in a situation where like, man, we've got to run like two extension cords to get, mm. and that's not good for the tool for no. one, right? Um, but sometimes I mean, that's, that's unless you want to haul around a generator, right? That's the only option you've got. Yep. Um, and I ain't hauling a generator. No, so. and I mean this takes hammer drill to a whole different level. Yeah, I mean it. 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 If you've got a drill that doubles as a hammer drill, yeah, this is like an gonna, actual hammer drill. Let's see if you guys can <laughs> can actually see that. I mean, just to kind of get perspective on like how big and massive this thing is. Um, it, I mean, like, you're you're not holding it with one hand, right? Um, so it's. You know, it's a big piece of equipment, and the fact that it's you know, I, when I saw this in their, you know, they had like all the tools together mm-hmm. in the back, and they're like going there. I was like, man, that's a hammer drill over there. I bet you that's going to be on the forty volt. Yeah. Nope. And, and like, nope, it's on the eighteen volt. Yeah. Not only that, it's got a really cool like shock absorbent technology. Did you see that? Yeah. Whenever they were testing it, like, and it's for the battery. It's yeah, and it's just the way it, but it doesn't shake your whole hand too. Uh-huh. So like, just. It it's not gonna jar you, yeah, to use it like you would think it would. So, so it's a pretty cool tool. So yeah. Anyway, those are, those are the ones I'm excited about. We'd be interested in hearing from you guys if if you guys were able to watch any of this or been able to go to the link and and look at the tools they got. Which ones are you guys interested in? Which yeah. ones are caught your attention? Um, you know, I imagine there's a lot of people pretty excited about the circular saw. Yeah, because uh, that should be a pretty powerful saw. Yeah, for for a small blade. Mm-hmm. It's a seven and a quarter inch blade, I believe. Um, it, that's a that's a nice that's a nice set uh, of of tools there with their with their coupled with its jigsaw. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I've got a jigsaw, the blue one, mm-hmm. and I, I I might go buy this one because <laughs> I mean it's gonna be so much more powerful than the one that I've got. Oh, sure. And and I and I do woodworking, so like that that one's pretty interesting to me mm. for sure. Yeah. So, so anyway, there's there's a lot of interesting tools on here and those yeah. these are just the ones that caught Kevin and I's attention. Uh we'd be interested in hearing from you guys which one catches your attention and what's another uh tool line that uh has caught your attention maybe for 21. What's what's dropping some cool tools? Uh I, I will tell you there uh, Milwaukee has done some stuff right off the bat. And that may be the next one that we do um, that I thought was really interesting. Yeah. Um, they, uh, they're, they're doing lots of interesting things right now. Yeah. Um, and it's Milwaukee. Milwaukee does really, really good products. Um, so, uh, you know, always interested to see what they're, they're up to as well. Um, but uh, yeah, if you guys, if you guys hear of uh, anything interesting in the tool world, we want to know about it and we can get on there and, Get the information out to everybody. That's right. uh, this this we felt like was, was a really important one to talk about because I mean, like, this is a much more accessible tool line. Yeah. Well, and one of the things that they said, I don't know if you noticed, whenever they were doing the video, is they said um, that for uh, for professionals, you know, that aren't just weekend warriors, mm-hmm. professionals, it's a cost effective option. They yeah. the 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 owners of the company were saying that. Yeah. This is a cost effective Multiple option. Multiple times throughout Multiple the presentation. Times. They were talking about just that we've made this accessible. Uh-huh. Where some of these other tools, they're more expensive. Um, oh, yeah. And, and and they've got over 175 tools in their lineup. There's, there's not another lineup 
Yeah. That even comes close. No. They've got, I think one of the things they said was more than three times the number of tools in their series. Kevin, which is I crazy. saw an ad. It wasn't really like an ad, but it was a product that came up in my feed. It was a Ryobi floor dryer. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and it was that's interesting. And it was it was it was like a janitorial yeah. piece of equipment. Yeah. You know, like you know like the, the things that you see when people put the signs out that yeah. says wet floor caution? Yeah. It's a holder for that sign, but <laughs> then it's also got fans at the bottom to wow. dry the floor. Wow. And I'm like, what don't they make? That well we when when they've got like pool Bluetooth speaker things with light shows, with light shows. Yeah, I mean, I still need to get they, that. It's like they're just they're just having fun. I'd probably be more you motivated know? if it wasn't so stinking cold right now. That's true. That's true. I really want to get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In fact, I'm sitting here looking at a picture of all of the things they've got on their website. There is a picture of a um, uh, like a, a professional looking snake. Mm. Like, like not just like a handheld. Oh yeah, like like a, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Like, like yeah, like a battery powered snake. I think they actually have two <laughs> models. I'm sure they do. Why I've looked at they? those before? Why I'm still would... mad about the garage door thing. Mm, man, that was such a cool tool. Man, that that what? I'm mad that they disconnect discontinued that. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was that was awesome. If you don't know what we're talking about, they had the they had this garage door opener that had like uh, I think they were like. 15 different uh, accessories that you could mount onto this thing mm-hmm. and everything from a shop light to like a, like a, a hose. And they all use for, the same jack as the batteries. Cause you could plug your batteries in to recharge the batteries on it as well. Exactly. So. Yeah. It, it was anyway, it was, it was a brilliant lineup. It had like a, like a hose for your air tools and yeah. all kinds of stuff. Yeah. It was pretty brilliant. A lot of really cool stuff. Yeah. So, well, I'll tell you what, um, there's probably something we've missed, but that's just because there's so much to talk about in this lineup of, yeah. of tools that, that Ryobi has. And uh, we encourage you to look it out. I mean, we, we, we've, we've done some pretty interesting stuff on, on, on social media before kind of getting people's opinions of what's their favorite lineup that's out there. And there's a lot of opinions mm-hmm. and a lot of people just, you know, really dogged on, on this, this line of products and, um, Craig and I have them, and we have them because they're good. I mean, they work th- thus far. They so have far, not disappointed. Nope. Yeah. So, well, listen. Thank you guys for uh, for downloading today's episode. Uh, one of the things that Craig and I were talking about just before the episode aired is that we are now on every possible platform available. So, if you're trying to listen on Apple, we're there. If you're listening on uh, Google platform. We're there. If you're listening on Pandora, we yeah. are now are on we are Pandora. Now, I, you 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 early announced that before when we weren't on there. We are now on Pandora. We are, I, I went and we listened now, to it today. Yes, we are now on Pandora. We're on Spotify. We're on Stitcher. Uh, Stitcher. All, all of the. If if you can. Audible. Did yes. we say Audible? N- no, but we're on Audible. But we're there. So um, you have no excuses, mm-hmm. and neither do your friends. So and tell YouTube. your friends. YouTube, yep. Don't we, forget the YouTube. We, we put new uh, episodes out on, on YouTube. You on might Thursday. be watching this on YouTube right you, now. You, you might, might be. be. You idiot. I know that because I'm watching it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> on here. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, wherever you prefer to listen to the podcast, yeah. we are we are there. And so no excuses. Hey, are you, are you doing the new uh, social media thing that everyone's evacuating to? No. What is that thing called? Uh, parlor. Parlor. Yep. Yeah, you're not I'm, in parlor? I'm not an early adopter. No? Nobody really is because it's been out for like two years. <laughs> it's so Has no. it been out for two years? Yes. Yeah? parlor has been around for a long time. People just started jumping ship whenever they didn't like the privacy things that uh, uh-huh. that Facebook was putting into place. They were st- well, it was not privacy as much as it was censoring. Pri- Facebook was doing some censoring that people didn't agree with, so they yeah. were jumping ship. And it's funny because everybody was like on Facebook, hey, here's my handle over on Parlor. I'm jumping ship. I'm like, no, you didn't. Obviously, you're still here. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway. And you had to come back over here to let everybody know. Exactly. And then 
Go find the next day. The next day you had your pictures of your grandkids. So (laughs) it's like, nope, you hadn't left. I haven't checked it out yet. I'm I'm going to. I want to see what it's about. Yeah. Um, But there's a ton of them now. Oh, yeah. It's too much. So I don't have time for all that. No, neither do I. Anyway, thanks for downloading the episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, send them over to us. Info at homeownershow.com. Find us on Facebook. Uh, all all of the other places you can find us. Uh, but I will say this. One of the most helpful things you can do for us is to go to iTunes and leave us a rating and review. Yep. That's one of the most things, one of the most beneficial things you can do is do that for us. Uh, but yeah, you got anything else, Craig? That's it. All right, man. Thanks for downloading. We'll talk to you later. See ya. See ya.